Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all having a great day. And today, to no one's surprise, we're going to do some more PlayStation VR news. We're gonna talk about new upcoming Mac game, but also we've got some sad news about Astro's Playroom. And we've got release date for Twilight Path, a latest upcoming puzzle games from the developers of Form. So, let's just jump into it and maybe right away Let's start from this brand new upcoming mega game. So uh, I kind of knew about it for a while, but uh, kind of didn't want it really to report it as I wasn't sure about it because it's one of those games that is announced on Steam as well. You go to their website and it displays the you know platforms they're going to release and the PlayStation logo is there as well. But also it's one of those games that are funded through the Patreon. So sometimes they just not happening. Uh, but then I was thinking like Elysia was doing the same and it was very successful and we're gonna get it soon. And as I'm trying to report on every single game, I was thinking I might as well talk about this game. So the name is Ion Rebellion and this is basically, yes, mech game. The developers didn't share many details about it. They basically say, well, it's for virtual reality only, of course, but they want to put you in the mech and make you feel super, super immersed in the world of this mech fighting game. Also, they say it's going to be multiplayer but also single player. The release date is scheduled for some time late 2020, so it will be this year, but that is for PC VR version. Regarding PS VR version, we don't know when this is gonna happen. And like I said, it's got this model of the game being funded through Patreon. So this is exactly same thing what Elysia developers been doing. And then eventually they managed to build the game good enough to have it like show it to people. And then they took it to Kickstarter. And of course, as we know, the Kickstarter was super, super successful. But also thanks to all of this funding and all the community support, the game looks amazing, so I cannot wait for Elysia. So I was thinking I'm gonna spread the word about Ion Rebellion as well. Maybe same gonna happen to those developers, I don't know. But they saying, yes, this game coming to PC VR and PlayStation VR. So yeah, very nice. But anyway, moving on to the next story, to the saddest story of the day. I always like to give you a good news. That's the best part of doing this YouTube channel. But sadly, sometimes there is some sad news as well. So Femitsu did interview with the Astrobots creator, uh, you know, same dude who did Astrobot Rescue Mission for us, and also Astro's Playroom for PlayStation 5. And they asked him a few questions. One of them was why you used PlayStation VR mascot to do a 2D game, a flat game for flat people. Why would you do that? And he basically said many people knew Astro, many people liking it. So it was just like a thought to do it that way because it's not like a game game, but more like a tech demo to show off this dual sense controller. Now I was thinking about it and even when I was talking about it before, I was hoping because they've got those different words like, I don't know, cooling word, uh, basically you're going through the different departments of the PlayStation 5. So I was thinking they're gonna have VR world as well. But sadly, it's confirmed uh, no, uh, there is no VR world. So that's very sad news because Astro Playroom gonna be exclusively very super extremely flat, which is sad. But also taking that aside, uh, maybe, you know, Sony might very well be working on Astrobot 2. Uh, probably is, I don't know. But uh, maybe when people play flat version, they will be like, okay, maybe it's time to try VR. I have no idea. But uh, this dude who's doing this game said there will be about five hours of content there if you want to do everything, so probably some boring stuff as well. Of course, Astrobot is much bigger game, so maybe Astrobot Rescue Mission 2 will happen eventually. Of course, it's not announced. It's just me living in the fantasy land. But I was hoping to have some sort of PlayStation 5 VR showcase, you know, when I unplug my PSVR from my PS4 and plug it to PS5 and then unplug my camera and hopefully gonna get that adapter. I don't know what Sony doing. Hmm, where is the adapter for my camera? Because PlayStation launching next month, so they must have like very good infrastructure to give everyone adapters. 
I didn't order the new camera because they not really confirmed it that it's gonna work with PSVR. Even though I expect it will, I don't need camera just to stream myself. I've got my own probably better camera anyway. So whatever, I just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, adapter give it to me. That's gonna be free. They said to basically follow their blog and they gonna announce something. Maybe they just saying adapter, maybe just not gonna, maybe it's gonna just be with every PlayStation 5. I have no idea, but I better get it because <laughs> I tell you what, if I get PS5 and I can't use my PSVR from day one, I won't be very happy. Okay, anyway, moving on to the next story, time to talk about Twilight Path for PlayStation VR. So this game got announced during this PlayStation VR Spotlight when Sony every day been talking about new upcoming PlayStation VR game, doing some new announcements. It was cool. I wish that was happening every day, all the time, forever, but no. But anyway, Twilight Path got announced that it will be coming to PlayStation VR as well. This is from the developer of Form. You know this game, very good game, short, but good, entertaining. People liked it. So Twilight Path will be longer anyway it's gonna be about 90 minutes or so so still not the longest but all right nevertheless the developer gave us the release date and they saying it's gonna come on 27th of october so in past they said it's gonna be this month and now they gave us concrete release date so very nice if you are a fan of puzzle games then you're probably gonna like this one i'm hearing from the pc reviews that it's quite good game the puzzles are not the hardest but they are entertaining but also what people appreciate is the very nice graphics that this game got so and it's, it's happening in this like a spiritual world fantasy world so i want to see it i like to see new places in vr i like to be like hmm yes nice views so hopefully that's how i'm gonna feel when this game releases and also before i go sorry for no live stream today i'm trying to do daily live streams but i kind of run out of time today so tomorrow is my day off so i'm gonna live stream something Probably the Swordsman update, you probably was waiting for it today, but the developer just delayed it one day to make sure there is not uh, bugs in this game uh, because they adding the, those new weapons and some new cool stuff. So that's gonna be tomorrow with us. I probably gonna play it on the channel whenever I gonna get a chance. I like the Swordsman, so I'm looking forward to the updates. But also I'm gonna try to play some Star Wars Squadrons because like I said, I not even finished the story mode yet and people are already leveling up in multiplayer. I need to jump into it right away, but sadly I'm working as well pretty much every day. Anyway, if you like what you're seeing, then please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. And that's it, bye.